Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. Uh, if you put your capo at the third fret, you'll be happier. Now you're in their key and it makes it really simple. So we got... So that's that keyboard part that we uh, that I, I tabbed out. Yeah, there's a, there'll be a link for it so you can look at my work and stuff. and. Um, just uh, mooch off of me. All right, second string, third fret, you're gonna hit that twice. Then the second string, first fret, you're gonna hit it once. And then go right back to the second string, third fret. So it's three, three, one, three, and then open first string, then uh, third string, second fret, and second string, first fret. So, and you do that again. Then you're going to play the uh, first string, third fret, two open. So three open, then go to the second string and do three one. And then do that again. Then you end up on the second string, third fret. So that is all you need. So you do that first thing twice, the second thing twice, and just end on the second string, third fret. So I'll do it slow. All you need. All right, hopefully that's good enough. Uh, now, the chords behind that, da, 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 da. so that's a D minor chord. Um, you can use that uh, behind the, and you can play it twice. Da, 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 da. Then you go to an A minor, da, 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 da. You play that twice, once, doesn't matter. And then a C chord is the, so you go to a C, da, 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 and then a G chord, and now you got the whole progression. Okay, so D minor is the first string, first fret, third string, second fret, second string, third fret. I'm going to mute the sixth string because I don't. It doesn't. It's not part of the chord. Okay, uh, that's your D minor. Your second chord, A minor, second string, first fret. 4th string and 3rd string 2nd fret. Again, I'm going to mute the 6th string. That's my A minor. Then I'm going to leave two of those fingers down. Just lift up my ring finger, put on the 5th string 3rd fret. That's my C chord. So the C chord is 5th string 3rd fret, 4th string 2nd fret, 2nd string 1st fret. Okay? Then I need a G chord. Any G chord will do. You could do any G chord you want. I'm going to do 6th string 3rd fret, 5th string 2nd, and then the uh, second string third fret and the first string third fret. That's my G chord. So now you got everything you need for the whole song. Uh, like I said, that intro that we, we just tabbed out or I, I played, uh, taught you, uh, you just do the chords behind that if you got a second person to play. Uh, then the verse comes in and the verse is just a D minor. You could do any number of strum patterns. You could go do it twice so it's down down up up down up down down up, up A minor same thing C chord twice G chord twice and you do it again B minor twice A minor twice C twice and then the G twice now it's the same chords uh, the pre-chorus is just a little different it's the only part that's different in the song it's a D minor twice, A minor twice, and then the C twice, and then you're out to three, and then you're back to this is the chorus. you're back to the beginning the that comes back and you can just strum your chords or you can get strum through them doesn't matter anything can do 
Uh, it's D minor, A minor, C, G for that part, no problem. Then the, uh, then the verse 2 comes in, and the only difference is it's just once through the progression instead of twice. So it's just the D minor again to the A minor again, and then the C, and then the G, and then you're, you're on to the pre-chorus. The pre-chorus, um, how you can remember that, that's the... Um, Sin City, la da 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 once, or I mean twice each on each chord, and then a C, and then a G, then the outro comes in and it's just kind of like a chorus, except it's uh, like four times. That's the whole song. There's nothing more to it. It's just that easy. So once you have the capo on, you're, you're good. Otherwise, we'd have to play old bar chords, so <laughs> who needs that aggravation? Thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Please subscribe and play more guitar.